My name is uh, Lloyd Marco. I'm from Zimbabwe. Uh, I came to South Africa 2007. So I've been working here as a mechanical engineering technician or artisan. But uh, unfortunately, the unfortunate part is the reasons why I end up coming here for the third time. This is my third time uh, coming. I lost my job 2008. Uh, 2000 and, uh, I started my job 2008. I lost it 2014, officially 2015, February, April. I was supposed to be compensated because I got injured at work. I got paralyzed, but I never got uh, compensated. Then I started losing things from cars, houses, everything I lost until I lost even my marriage. So when the prophet came, I was sitting outside. He told me about my children. Brother, where, where, where is your child? Zimbabwe. Hmm? Zimbabwe. Where is the mother of these children? I don't know where she is. What happened? Hey, we the hmm? Because this woman, she just decided to cause problems. Yes, a lot. And now she left with the children? Yeah, she took them from me, then she dumped them somewhere. So mm -hmm. they are staying on their own. Can you hear that? I don't say where are these children? Because to me, why I'm seeing these children stranded like this? In fact, when you are sitting there, I'm just hearing a cry of your children. I am hearing this cry of your children. Why do you people abandon this show? Why? So I don't know you, isn't it? to court but uh, I believe I got jobbed because the lawyer was representing me uh, he asked me to pay 250,000 runs to the advocate so that the case goes to court which I couldn't afford because I was paralyzed and I was not working anymore so I did not get any court representation hence I lost the money which I assume was supposed to be like 8.4 million so I even lost my pension, my provident fund, which was underpaid, more like 25% paid. Up to now, it has not been compensated or corrected. So I actually lost a lot. Then I lost the cars, which people just stripped uh, without telling me until I no longer had a car because they were taking advantage of my status. I lost a relationship. Because of that, I lost a relationship with my children. My marriage was already gone. But the reason I lost my children was because I was no longer uh, financially able. Uh, my children abandoned me. I failed them financially. Hence, the prophet told me about my children suffering because I'm not looking after them. 
and not because of me, but because also my wife, ex-wife, took my kids away from me, then abandoned them elsewhere away from me as a way of like punishing me, which the prophet says the woman has caused a lot of trouble in your life, hence the life I'm living now. I tried to persuade my child uh, to, to actually consider me by buying him a car. When I got small money, I bought him a Land Rover Discovery, which I then lost again before it reached him. So it was like everything I touched was actually fighting me, which also the prophet mentioned. He says, everything you touch, it fights you. So I tried also to talk to him like, I, I don't have money, I'm not working. He could not understand it. All he wanted was something like a present to, to bond that relationship again, which failed to materialize, though I bought it. So in that period, I lost like, two cars and one bus, which was supposed to be meant for my kids. When I came here, uh, the last time I came, Apostle advised me to start praying for people. Then says everything else will start falling into place. So I then went to the prayer mountain where I was involved for more like one and a half. I was at the prayer mountain, prayer camp. I only came out recently. And when I came out, that's when I said, no, I need direction. I need to come here. But I didn't have money to come here until a friend came through, whom I met on a prayer group after we were praying together. Then he said, no, uh, I paid for you after. I advised the person to come here to charity suddenly. Then he, in turn, also paid for me to come here. So now came the time for one-on-one -on -one with the prophet. He then repeated again the same issue on the kids issue. Then he says, I'm seeing uh, there's nothing that you touch that materialize. Everything fights you. Even what belongs to you fights you. And he says, uh, but you know these things, you also remember you should be married. You're supposed to marry. Then I said, yeah, okay. Yeah, I'll marry, but not under this situation I am right now. He says, no, you are supposed to marry. Your situation is going to change because there are cases of many years upon your life. Even your brothers who are outside, both I've got a young brother in Germany and another one in Zimbabwe, who are highly connected, but nothing that shows that they're highly connected. He even mentioned that. That he, even though they're highly connected, but nothing is showing. Then he says, uh, it's a case, these are cases of many years against your family, which is very true. Because I'm the oldest son in the family, but nothing is happening right now. And the rest, same story. Even though they've got businesses, but nothing is happening. Even though there are celebrities at home, but nothing is happening in their lives. So that's the prophecy he gave me. Then he says, no, uh, you, need to, you need to marry, you need to reconnect with the children, which is going to happen starting from now. Yeah, all the doors are going to open, which is true. Uh, there's going to be financial breakthroughs, including your case from work. He says, at your work, people connived uh, against you and they conspired uh, out of hatred. He ends you out of work. So the sickness, yes, it happened, but they also connived so that you don't get your compensation, but you are d unfairly dismissed, which is very true. I was unfairly dismissed, never been compensated never been paid for my injury on duty. So he said, no, things are going to be okay. That's what the prophet said. Uh, he says, he, you are a man of God. Uh, so the reason why you need to be married is because uh, you don't want to face challenges dealing with people unless you are still single. So that's why you need to be married, which is very true. So. Unfortunately, I did not ask more questions about, okay, who do I marry and where? Because it's still a challenge to me on that one. But everything was very satisfactory. I'm so happy. Uh, it has the area that I never thought could be a major issue of my kids. And the serving God while I'm married as well. And he says, uh, I see, I'm saying this because I see you love God so much and God wants to use you. You feel so much free because I was very depressed. 
uh, yes, I was praying, even praying for people. But at times you ask yourself, if I'm praying for people and I'm displaced like this, are they receiving anything? Hence, uh, I was not referring people to other men of God. And even the person brought me, I had to refer to come here. Uh, definitely because of higher anointing here. Uh, so I, I feel so light. I feel my, I've got my solution. My challenges are over. I know the direction to take, uh, especially on the issue of uh, serving God, which is my main uh, desire. I think now I know what I have to do. I have to mend the relationship with my kids and marry, obviously, when I got the right woman, or when I get the woman, but I need to serve God. With now a free conscience and a free heart. Jesus. Where is your brother? The young one. Mm. There's one in Germany, there's one in Zimbabwe. Yes. I wish today this prayer must set everyone free. Because mm -hmm. even these brothers, they're, they're struggling a lot. No, all of them. And to make matters worse, the other one works. Does projects for the president. But the other one does projects for the war youth in Zimbabwe. There's they nothing to show. They don't get anything. Can you see the spirit? How do you work very close to people that are reaching and you still remain with nothing? Me, you know? uh, friends of presidents, they are coming to me, like study come back. Mm. The same lawyer who represented me came and removed my name. Now mm. I'm out. Can you hear that? Thank you, Lord, for remembering this man today. In Jesus' mighty name. As I'm praying for you, may the favor locate you. Amen. Amen. I remove all the curses Amen. that have been laid upon your life. Amen. I cover you with the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Today, as I'm praying for you, May people favor you. Amen. Amen. Thank you, In Jesus. the name of Jesus. Amen. I open doors that will get closed for so many years. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. May the will of God start to happen in your life. Amen. You shall be the light of that family. Amen. In Jesus', Jesus. mighty name. Amen. 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 Uh, those facing the same challenge like me, or even worse, or less, uh, they need to come to charis. Since I'm saying it's my third time, it means every time I came here, uh, my life has been changing. That's why I even advise other people to come, and they came, and their life changed. So with what I'm feeling right now from the depression I had before I came here, before I met the prophet, I advise people to come. Uh, and the coming is not easy because there is a solution. Because where there is Jesus, it invites attack, attacks. So wherever Jesus is, attacks are there. So for you to come here, you need to be praying. But it's not going to happen easily because that's where solutions are. So Satan not want you to get those solutions freely or easily. So advise people to come, no matter what it takes, even text fasting, going to the mountain, do it until you come. Because that's where solution is.